this video, we're going to look at different ways you can resize images in InDesign. So I placed these photos, and obviously they don't fit into frames, and some of them are stretched. So let's look at how we can fix stretched images, fit images into frame, and correctly size our images. There's two types of content you need to consider when looking at resizing. So I'm on my selection tool, and when I select not in the center, but kind of toward the side, you can see I have this blue selection, and that's the actual frame. If I click in the middle, you can see that's the photo. This means this photo actually goes, I have extra information over here. If I actually want to move the photo, I'm on the selection tool, I'm moving the blue. To access the contents and scale those and fit those into the frame, I click in the center, and then I have that brown selection, and I can begin scaling my photo. To correctly scale this photo, I want to hold down Shift and Command, and then start resizing my photo. When I get it where I want it, I'm going to let go of my mouse or my trackpad and then the modifier keys of Shift and Command. So now my photo fits in that space, and I'll just bring that frame up to match that. Now, if I made this frame smaller, that would be cropping the photo. Most of the time you don't want to do that, but just be aware of that. Now, if I wanted to scale both the photo and the frame together, I can have that blue selection and use the same Shift and Command. Another way to scale is by using percent. So to access that, I have my photo selected, and I'm going to go over to the Transform section of my Properties panel. I'm going to hit these three dots, and you can see this is my width and height proportion. I'm going to make sure those are locked, and I'm just going to change this first one to 50. And when I do, you can see that photo proportionally scaled. With this photo, it looks like I just have a little extra information there, so if I wanted to extend this frame up, I could, or I could leave it as it was. Sometimes, if you don't pay attention, you didn't hold down your keys, you create a stretched photo. And there's a few ways you can tell that. Obviously, in this case, you can tell it by looking at it, but the other way you can tell is if I select this photo and I notice my percentages, that tells me that they are not in proportion. So one way I can fix this is just to pick a number that's kind of between these two, and then that car is no longer stretched. I can then go ahead and select my frame, make this a little bit larger, Make sure that matches the edges of the photo, and then Shift and Command, let go of my trackpad, and then my keys. As you get used to that Shift and Command keyboard shortcut, it might just be a wise idea to double check that number to make sure you haven't stretched it. For Illustrator content, you can copy and paste directly from Illustrator and scale. So I'm going to grab this icon from Illustrator, Command C to copy it, hop back over to InDesign, Command V to paste, and there's my icon. I can still scale it using Shift Command, and everything scales appropriately.